What is cracking everybody? Once again, another day of ice fishing. In the new hoopty, Al sure traded in his uh, piece of doo-doo dodge for a dirty max with this goofy stack in the back. But all in all, a lot better truck than his last one. And at the end of the day, it's a dirty max. Has nothing to do with this video. Going out, hopefully schlock some rainbows and some toad bluegills. Hopefully maybe a bonus perch, probably a bunch of small largemouth. You're right, we'll just lift you over. You're not going to do that. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, made it to the spot. Tip for you guys. If you're using any drill-based auger method, lithium ion or regular battery, keep your batteries in a warm pocket. Keep them warm. You get a lot more life out of them. What do you got there, bud? I guess I'm just fishing without electronics today. I've accepted it. I never fish. I fished with electronics one day. You stay away from that hole, you will. Do I need to explain fish conservation to you again? Dude, I literally just said I was fish. I'm, I'll probably keep. Three. Just enough for dinner. I'd rather eat them. I'd rather I'd rather eat them and not have to ever for like like never freeze them. Yeah, it is. This is a trout. I don't know. This is a noodle. Trout. It felt like a trout. Let's get that scooper. This is probably a keep. No. I'll bet you that's a keep. No. 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 You don't think that's a twelve? No. No. Look how dark he is though compared to the other ones. That's 100% a 12. You got the scooper? No, do you have a scooper? Yeah, where is it? It's in the... It's over there. Grab it real quick for me, would you, Thelma? Yeah, that's Thanks, buddy. That's how you're supposed to get trout off. Lip them, right? Oh, how did I just... Come on. Got him, boys. <laughs> That thing him. was hitting so hard. He might not be a 12, actually, now that I'm looking at him. I don't know. You better figure it out and get him back in the hole, though. If he's not. Yeah, we'll let him go. Oh, that's, I didn't, I'm not the one that said it was there, dumbass. Oh, man. I didn't even know I had a book. I was like, there's something there. Wait, no, there's not. Yes, there is. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is my medium action walleye rod, so. Oh. <laughs> Fish on, I gotta go. Oh, good. Oh, trout. Or just, uh, uh. Yeah. Jordan, you good at cleaning gills? Yeah. Okay, we'll keep that one. I'm not bad at it. Now. No, you didn't, I don't know. There was, no, I didn't, I didn't notice any bones. There were some that were kind of hacked out, but. Oh yeah, did you see how Matt was cleaning them? That was that's on the smaller end, but I'd rather keep a couple of the my fish finder still doesn't work. This is great. What do you got there, bud? Did you just pick that rod up and he was on there. Trowel? Yep. Greg, oh my god, get that that looks like a keeper. Okay. Where's where did I put that poop? Was that right on bottom? What do we got there, bud? Keeper trowel? Yeah. Twelve and a quarter? That's a good trowel. Bring it closer. Good trowel. Good trowel. Good trowel. Oh, Get him! Come on, baby. Hit it again. That's a nice trout. 
Yeah, you got a nice trout. <gasps> it was too. I could tell by the way it was. It was a big one. You could tell by the way it is. I could tell by the way it was. He didn't nab all of my... Oh, he only took one waxy. See, I like that double waxy idea because... They nab one, you can just drop the other one back down. Uh, that'll keep. What do we got? Two gills and a trowel? Three gills and a... Three total? Three gills and a trowel. Okay. I'm just going to put that fish in the oven when we get back. And then we can eat that after we're done cleaning these. Put fish in the oven. The shit that's on there. Yeah, it'll be good. Still it talks. We'll let Alistair try it out first. We spent the first two hours of the fishing day trying to make my Markham RT9 work. Not happy about it, does not want to work. I'm gonna have to send it and get it fixed. Probably gonna buy a much more affordable, much more reliable Markham unit. Oh, just missed one. And uh, see if they can't fix it. It's a cool, it's a cool unit if it actually works. Never really works and I've had it. I've only had it for two seasons now. But hopefully, we're going old school, no fish finder. Hopefully we're gonna make something happen. Got a couple on the ice. Getting down to prime time. Get real. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Is it a good one? It could be a ooh, it could be a little baby bass. No, we turn the music off though, please. Oh, there he is, boys. Danker. You get a free pass today, bud. As soon as I put two and a half waxies on, that fish wanted it. Some lakes are like that, dude. For whatever reason, they don't want to hit one, one and a half, two waxies. They want the they want the, the goober on there. Uh, he could keep. I'd rather keep that than a bigger one. He'll keep. I think we've only got four or five so far, so he can keep. Jordan, did you get one? Yeah. I'm tossing one over your way. Heads up. Oh, there we go. Good one. Oh, good one. Trout. Maybe no. Oh, maybe. Maybe trout. Or just oh. bass. Frickin' bass. Come on, bass. Squ squirmy little bugger. Just aft my stuff right up, that bass did. Just, just mangled my wax worm pile I had going on. We're gonna, we're gonna still try it. We're gonna send her. Oh, missed another one. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah, that is definitely a better one. Please don't be a bass. No, just a good trout. Stole all my twaxy. No fish finder trout. I'll take that any day. Measure them compared to that other one. Huh? Right behind you, right behind no, I'm measuring compared to the other one. Oh, I just missed a trout. I just missed a good one. It was. Why don't you get it back down there? As soon as I pulled it off the bottom. Got him. Oh my god. Night by time, boys. Guarantee that dirty bugger got my waxy. We scoop my hole out, it looks dirty. I'd my love boy. To scoop your hole. You're the you're the only other person I've ever seen put their hand in a hole to scoop it out. Trowel. Yeah. Oh wow, you could have got I could have got I would have definitely fell off the bucket. But I could I would have got it. I would have that would have been a brain bleed. <laughs>
Good. That's a keeper trout. That is definitely a keeper trout. You got him. Jack. Dude, tighten the drag, brother. Trout, though. That's a small. Oh, get him out of the hole. That's a that's a small one. That might not keep. That was the one. Keep get a, get get a get a hold Relax, of him, brother. brother it's fine. Jesus. He's hole dancing over there. I don't. That's a small one. Maybe that could just be measure him anyways, but I don't think so. Alrighty, everybody. Well, hope you enjoyed that video. Appreciate the heck out of you for watching. As you can tell, once again, another bluegill and rainbow trout mission shortly after this you're going to see a couple more crappie missions hopefully some good ones move to a new we've been hooked on these rainbow trout i mean pound for pound they are i mean they are just a blast to catch super hard to land super energetic super athletic a couple more adjectives i could probably think of for that but uh move to a new lake in the next couple days here and uh, we've been catching a lot more rainbow trout a lot bigger rainbow trout so I hope you guys will enjoy those videos. We're still kicking away, finally getting caught up on all the content that we stockpiled. But uh, we'll be bringing you quite a few videos this winter, right into our spring snow goose hunt here in like, I think a little, a little, like a month and a half, I think we're going down to Arkansas to shoot some snow geese. So there will be some more waterfall wing shooting coming for you guys. Unfortunately, our duck season pretty much ends before everybody else has even starts. So uh, we're already done with the duck and goose hunting. Unfortunately, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, if you would like to make a donation towards our veterans ice fishing trip here the last Friday of January, huntersforlife.com. Link is down in the description. That is where you can make a donation. Go through PayPal. Super, super, super simple. Every dollar helps us. So uh, if you guys do make a donation, thank you. If not, thank you for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Leave a comment. We love talking with you guys. And until next time, happy adventures.